Good day, you beautiful people. Today we're making a mashed potato with gravy and sausages mukbang. It's been several years since I've had mashed potatoes with gravy, so let's check it out. I'm so excited, oh my god. Mashed potatoes, we got some gravy, and my favorite sausages. Let's go do some cooking. We got two bags. We're only gonna be using one because it's a portion for one person, not for two people. Look at the thickness and creaminess of this. And there you have it mashed potatoes with gravy and sausages oh man i'm very excited let's go eat this bad boy up man don't even think about it don't even think about it today we got mashed potatoes with gravy and sausages let me show you this up close i'm super excited i've read your comments saying bro you gotta make some dish that's big maybe i've gone too extreme but however if i don't eat this whole thing i have it for lunch and dinner tonight why not you already know got my favorite drink I said before, this is the best mango drink you can get, better than Coolbest. Cheers, my friend. Cheers, Kaya. Oh my, would you go and take a look at this beauty? This is the only way I can show you this meal, but... Oh man, I haven't had this in years. I'm very excited. Bon appetit, let's go taste test it. Woohoo! Mmm. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> wow. Mm. Oh my god, that is good. Wow, 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 wow. Take a look at that deliciousness. Woo! The gravy. Mmm. That is full of flavors. Now, the nice thing about this meal is, even during these times, it's very affordable. You can get the one that's 170 or the one that's 90 cents. No, I went ahead and got this one. But ironically, what I noticed while looking at the ingredients, the same ingredients almost, the cheaper one has way more protein, less carbs, but more fat. Mm. Jesus. Oh, we used to eat this in the UK. Oh man, like this was a daily thing almost. So amazing. Why you add milk is the milk makes it creamy. Mmm. What you do normally, you take the sausage, right? You dip it in the gravy and everything. Like you dip it in here. The mashed potato, it's so tender and sweet. I mean, look at that. Oh! Yeah, buddy. That's fire, fire. Mmm. Very affordable meal. Like I said, especially in these times, this cost you. Now let's say you go for the cheap one, right? That's about 90 cents. You go get milk, 80 cents. Yeah, that's a very affordable meal. Really affordable, holy crap, I just figured it out. Ooh, oh, look at that. A fire. Mm. I remember I used to eat this when we were in England. Um, we used to actually eat this a lot. Like when I say a lot, a lot, lot. I don't know if it's a typical Dutch thing. I don't know. I want to say yes, but at the other hand, I feel like it's not a Dutch typical thing. What we like to eat, or what we used to eat, was stumpled. How do I describe what that dish is? Mm. You got ondaivi, which is a, some form of vegetable with spinach and gravy in it, I think. And a sausage. Very delicious. Also pretty cheap to make yourself. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
It's one of these meals I used to love when my mama used to cook these. My mom used to cook this. You know, it's funny because my dad does all the cooking in the house. There's a reason because he can cook the best. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh man. Bring me back memories and joy. Let me tell you that. I was a little kid growing up eating this stuff. I don't know, like, especially during Christmas time, we used to, I used to eat this personally. Because as weird as it sounds, turkey legs and like the whole turkey thing, I never liked it. I don't know, turkey has a very specific type of taste. I'm not referring to the country turkey, no, no, no. I'm referring to the, to the animal turkey. It's got a very certain taste, and you want to like it or not like it. Holy shit. I've almost finished the whole plate. I skipped dinner last night, so. Oh, nice. Because I know, like, in the UK, we're like, um, you can't get these at snack bars. You gotta go to a restaurant to have this. And I know some of you may be like, oh, that's disgusting, adding milk to it. It's ironic because you don't taste the milk. The milk is pretty there for the creaminess, because if it's not for the milk, then it doesn't get creamy. Ooh. And trust me, you want to add spices to it. They don't say on the packaging to add spices or anything, but it's an optional thing. You gotta spice your food, you gotta season it. It's the same with chicken, right? You make a chicken and you don't season it. Like, what is wrong with you? Even as a vegetarian, that pisses me off. It's like, how can you eat chicken without seasoning? That's weird. Like, even a cracker with cheese, I have to season it. It's so boring and bland, you know. I put garlic and herbs on it, lemon, a uh, little bit of pepper, some habanero, and um, some other stuff. Hmm. It's nice weather. It actually stormed last night. No, you're not gonna beg. You already had breakfast. Don't you dare beg for me now. Uh, yeah, no, it was actually storming last night. For the first time in a month, it actually rained. Very scary, but very scenic as well, like beautiful. It's very unique when it rains. This is a lot of food. Damn, I had to close the window. God damn, these dogs bark a lot. Like, like I said, this is an unknown place for them. No, stop begging. Let me eat, please. You already had breakfast. I forgot what I was saying. Shit. Well, it don't matter to me. Hmm. There's a lot of food. Why would I pay for this in a restaurant? Like if I had this portion, it's way too much. 10 quid. Mm. If we get two sausages. Yeah, not bad. Mm. Oh. Man, oh man. Absolutely divine. Now one thing I must admit, and say about this certain dish. It does get boring after a while. And that's the thing I've always said about gravy and mashed potatoes is shit gets boring after a while eventually. Like it's the same when you, you know, it's crazy because what's wrong with your ear? Nothing. What are you flapping your ear for? Huh? Oh, a little bit dirty. I've got to clean this now. How was it on? Oh, that sounds painful. Jesus, why would you do that? They're both, you know, it's weird because we never taught them to beg. It's just, I think it's just a natural thing for dogs to do, I'm assuming. Gotta brush my teeth just now. Gotta get the day started, edit a couple of videos. Mm. Oh. The sausage makes it nice as well. That's way too much food. Holy shit. This is a lot of food, man. This is food for two, two people. Maybe even three. And ironically enough, yeah, this is not really that fattening. Well, if, unless you add the milk, but um, there's no protein in it at all. Except, like, for the sausages, maybe a couple grams of protein. But, like, potatoes in general have no protein. It's only carbs, really. Like, potatoes is one of the most useless things to consume, really. If you look at the food stamp. But it's tasteful. Like, it, it may sound weird, but, like, when it comes to eating fries, I never really eat fries. I think the last time I had fries was a frying mukbang. 
a couple of weeks ago. I know I said I would make the palm fries, but I'm sorry, but I can't do it, man. The parmesan is so disgusting. It's a certain required taste, like I've said, you know, I don't like it. It's a shame because I was really optimistic. I just grabbed the random parmesan, I'll be honest as well. I just saw the vegetarian label and I was like, okay, I'll just get that one. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's what it is, you know? But it's been an interesting week so far. Um, no, nothing with the neighbors. Like I've said, you know, I'm over it. I don't really care. You know, um, I've only kept the dogs inside majority of the day due to the fact that it's muddy. You know, it rained obviously, and I prefer not to get stains on the couch because, as you can see, I've got a towel on the back here. I found out two nights ago, Bella sleeps on the couch. You fucking sneaky dog. <laughs> this dog is very sneaky. Oh man, I've had enough. I mean, look at this. I ate like half the plate, and it was stacked up to like the top. I just want to talk a little bit extra. Yeah, just talk a little bit. Um, parents are at the new house, like I said. Yeah, man. It's crazy. It is really crazy. Finally happened after years. You know, because we were shopping. I don't know if I mentioned this, but uh, I wasn't allowed to, to say it really three years ago. But we were always, always house, always house hunting. You know, it started as a fucking joke. My mom said, you know, it started as nothing serious, just shopping for houses, you know, because that's what I sometimes do. I just look for houses and see what the prices are and just where they're located, etc. There's a dog handy, very nice. Um, but then eventually she's like, damn, maybe we should move out. You know, we've had amazing 16, 17 years at the place we lived, really phenomenal. But it's now or never in a way of, you know, the market is still very high. You know, your house is worth a lot, regardless if it's big or small. You're going to get more than what you highly likely paid for it. So we definitely made more. You know, I'm going to say, say obviously how much it sold for, but uh, it sold for a crazy number, which personally I, for a, a house that's not detached, fuck no, no way I would pay that much for a house. But then again, it's the location where a house is located. You've got to, you've got to realize and remember, our house is one of the only ones, and I say this, our house is one of the only houses in the whole area that has a field on the back and not houses backed up on us. You go to the front of our street, houses backed up on each other. You go to the other street, houses backed up on each other. That's the reason why my parents bought that house 17 years ago. Because, you know, I've been at, you know, Brendan's parents' house, and you know, I go there sometimes. And dude, no kidding, when I was uh, babysitting that cat last year, you know, because they went to Spain. Then I, tell, I told you guys about that, right? I was in the supermarket and I wanted to clean off. I, I saw Michael and I was like, huh? The hell? Did the motherfucker just follow me or something? I think he was following me. I don't know. He said, yo, King, can I ask you a favor? I said, yeah, yeah, go ahead, sure. Can you take care of the cats for two, three weeks? I said, uh, yeah, sure. You can game if you want. You can sleep at our house. I said, okay, yeah, cool, no problem. Um, and you know, I remember because you're sitting in... Uh, because you guys know the house, you know, I've made videos for Brendan, etc. The downstairs and only like the top, like the attic and the rest, not obviously. Because, you know, I want to value that, pro I value that privacy, you know, it's the house, obviously. I'm just a guest, but, uh, shit, what else? And Brendan's room you've seen, but um, it's a really nice house, you know. Um, I do prefer the layout of their house compared to our, our house. Not, not the new house, but the house we saw it, obviously. Uh, but, you know, when you're in your living room, you can hear people through your um, glass doors when they're at the back of the garden, like talking loud, just music, which, you know, it's not a bad thing. Because you gotta remember, like, a lot of Dutch people don't care about noise. They don't give a shit. Fuck it, you know, they love noise. But I guess we just mm, like peace. And that's exactly what the new place is providing us is peace. I want peace. I want problems, not peace. Is that the meme? I don't know. I'm still sick. <laughs> Sorry about that. But, um, man, like I said, I know I speak a, m a lot about this house, but you've got to remember, we finally got a house that suits us as a family. Because, you know, you can, you can obviously state the argument, say, oh, but, you know, a house is just a house. If you've never been house shopping, house hunting, and you've been into multiple different type of houses, you know, 
you gotta have that feeling of when you open up the doors you gotta have the feeling of wow this is where I want to spend the next 20 to 30 40 years or maybe lifetime until I die and when we sold this house for the first time which we bought the farmhouse we were like holy fuck like I was astonished I was rather disappointed with the fact you know there was a road in front of us but you know you filtered it out eventually <laughs> I just looked at the property the shed the space for the price because we paid we paid under market value that house should have been worth way more they should have asked way more but fuck it we kept our mouth shut we knew that house was worth way more money we've basically made profit on the house but we could sell it now but we don't want to we want to live there for the rest of our life and you know i had asked my mom do you, would you reckon we would have still moved or even potentially looked at a movement if it wasn't for you know my grandmother and Haley. she said no i would have never done it i said how come would have been too much stretch and i said i don't know i found it hard to believe knowing you because my mom is you, know, you gotta remember my parents lived in south africa for a long time and they're used to big you know big houses big properties a lot of space they never liked the thought of idea especially my father specifically my father he never liked the idea of having neighbors and people just so on top of each other because our specific because what we all wanted was you know uh, we didn't want any neighbors next to us at the back of us in front of us or anywhere in the vicinity of when you look outside your house you can see a fucking house no we have one neighbor in the whole entire place before you enter the village that neighbor is probably about 150 meters away from us you can't even see the house through the bushes nothing and that's exactly what we obviously wanted space and privacy because you know when you live in a neighborhood at least for me personally i always felt like i was getting watched being watched i don't know if you guys ever got that paranoid shit but i don't know man i always got this weird feeling i'm being watched by people because i know i know it is i know i know i was getting watched oh yeah I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, or like two, three months ago, it was Sunday, Sunday morning, 10, 10, 30. My dad and I walk out the door, taking the dogs, uh, I think, was it to my place? Or was it, I don't know, we were going to take them somewhere. And I'm just looking up, you know, and I see the neighbor peeking out the window. I'm like, you got to be fucking joking me, right? Why are you looking at me like that? In a way of, okay, what are they doing? Oh, are they going? Are they leaving now? Because we've had that sometimes, like, you know, we walk outside the door and then bam. 10 seconds later, they are at the front as well. It's like, come on, man. That's not the reason why we're moving. It's now or never, you know. And and I, I recommend you, if you want to sell your property, sell it now. But yet again, what can you get back for your money? Because that's also a very important thing, you know. Sure, you can make profit on your property. But what in return with that money can you buy? Because let's say you have a house. Let's say you bought a house for 300000 all right? I'm just saying something. And you let it get taxed, and uh, they say, yeah, your house is 450000 now. You can sell that house, obviously, if you live in the Netherlands, but you can get fuck all back for in return. In a way of, you might live in a very nice, quiet neighborhood. You have nice, friendly people. Sure, you can take the 450 Let's say after tax. 410 all right? You could buy another place. What I'm trying to say is, I know it's very strange to, to, to discuss, but sometimes it's better to not sell your property. Even though you know you can make profit off it. If you can't buy anything bigger or nicer for that same amount of money, then there's no point of selling. Unless you're a multimillionaire, obviously, but that's a totally different story. Let's, let's talk about the average person here in the Netherlands, right? But, um,. Yeah, I'm putting this up for sale as well soon, probably. Probably November, December. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As I had already discussed with my brother, he was here a couple of days ago, and I said, listen, I, I need a place to crash for a few days. If, you know, if you don't mind. I understand if you don't want to, obviously, but I just need f five days to, like, drive off. I said, yeah, of course, no problem. So I'll highly likely stay at my brother's place, but it's only in a few months, obviously. Right, I'll be honest mashed potato is fucking fire right you gotta make this so easy you know it doesn't take a genius to make this it's just like 300 milliliter no 400 milliliters of milk 300 milliliters water stir it let it cook for a couple minutes like five minutes take it off the stove and then add the potato thing to it and then mix it and it gets thick and creamy creamy 
sorry I'm a weirdo <laughs> daddy so, sorry <laughs> I'm such a moron gotta be one to watch me obviously but yeah I'm probably gonna have to throw this away I'm just gonna be dead as long as I'm not gonna lie to you and say oh yeah okay I'm gonna save it Anyways, I'm gonna end this mukbang. Thank you so much for watching. What is going to be the next mukbang? I'll probably be at my parents this weekend, in the upcoming week, because my father is going to the farm tomorrow, and the dog walker will only be coming this upcoming week in the afternoon, and the dogs have to get also walk at night time. You know, it's not fair them, and I also just wanna just wanna get away from this place a little bit. You know. I also want to say my goodbyes to Brandon before we go obviously. Um But yeah, I think that's the end of the mukbang. Thank you all so much for watching. Khawandala! Khawandala! I get very excited when I say Khawandala. How's Khawandala? She gives me a paw. I don't know if you'll... Will she like this? Oh yeah, of course. Huh. I didn't know you would like this. Oh shit. You lick my finger? Okay, good. Thank you. Ah, oh, don't lick my board! Oh, God damn it! That's, ah, that's slime! No, stop licking my board! It's slimy! Damn, look at this! I don't know what you mean, bro. I just wanted to lick you play. Mwah! Alright, I'm gonna end this mukbang. Say goodbye to the monster. Be at my parents tomorrow, so thank you so much for watching. And uh, have an awesome day. Peace out, kid. <laughs>